Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create procedural golf ball inside Houdini. So let's move into Houdini. So over here I just create one geometry container. Name it as golf ball. Go inside that particular stuff. Now to do that I need to create one spear. Convert it into polygon. Over here I just set it to 1, 1, 1 and frequency maybe 7. Okay, so right now I get this. Now I need to divide this particular stuff and over here you just apply compute dual. So now it converts that particular stuff into some hexagonal pattern. Now it might be possible that because of that conversion and everything we are losing a little shape a spherical shape of this particular golf ball or base of that golf ball so for that reason I just duplicate this particular spear over here I just set it to primitive and I just apply one ray operator like this and set it to be minimum distance so now I get a proper spherical formation of that particular content now what i need to do is that over here i just apply one poly exude in which i just set individual element go to transform maybe over here 0 0.9 0 0.9 like this and also need to activate this extrude front group okay so uh, this particular primitive will be stored in extrude front group now again i need to apply one more extrude over here i just need to set extrude front in which little bit in negative value maybe 0 0.03 over here transform extrude set scale to zero 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 okay now due to we extrude this particular stuff it might possible not might possible but we have over here multiple points so to avoid that particular stuff or rectify that particular thing i'm going to use one fuse operator to fuse those stuff so now this is the thing now i just need to apply one subdivide set it to 2 now if I press save W so now see we get this golf ball now I just need to apply a little look dev in this particular thing and for that reason over here I just apply one UV project in which I prefer to apply polar so we get unwrap that particular spear or ball Definitely before that it is preferable that we apply one normal also so that we get a proper normal calculation. Now as I want to look dev this particular stuff into Solaris so for that purpose I just apply one name operator. Remove uh, over here in name I just apply slash geo slash golf ball as well as i just move this particular stuff little bit up maybe two and over here i just create quickly stand for this particular thing so i just create first null out golf ball now i move into my front view i just make this particular stuff as template and now over here I just create this particular stand using constructive method okay so this is procedural and now this is constructive so I just click onto this and I'll start from here like this
okay so this is my curve now what i need to do is that over here i just apply one revolve now i just apply some crease over here so to do apply crease i just apply crease and uh, i just select this particular stuff select geometry from and over here i just select this and this edge and press enter and give maybe five value to this particular stuff now what i need one more thing is that over here this particular for this particular edge i just apply poly bevel be 0 0.0056 something like that add some division maybe four and now i just apply one subdivide value two so here we get that particular stand definitely after that we can apply one normal to calculate normal again so now i just apply one more time name operator give the name slash geo slash stand and now definitely i just create one more null operator name it as out stand merge these two stuff over here like this this again one more null out golf ball setup maybe okay so now what i need to do is that i just copy this particular path so here i have this whole geometry and everything where we just unwrap this particular golf ball now i just move into my solaris workspace and over here i just create one shop import operator i just paste that particular stuff and now see we get this spear that ball and stand over here as well as because of that particular naming we get proper structure for that like geo and in that we have two geometry that golf and stand okay so this is one more good method to call your geometry into your lop network with proper hierarchy by applying a proper name to those elements or those assets so now i am happy with this particular stuff now i just need to set my camera so i just apply new camera like this that is fine maybe like this over here i am going to apply one material library in which i just create shader wax material builder name it as golf ball go inside this particular stuff uh, delete this one instead of that i am going to create one principal shader i just apply that principal shader over here and in which uh, i just apply some parameter like uh, i just apply color to be one maybe specular roughness to be near to zero coat maybe one reflection in coat maybe one i apply some roughness of that particular code so here i just design this particular uh, shader basic things onto this particular stuff same way uh, i just duplicate this particular thing and name it as stand just go inside this particular stuff select my principal shader maybe over here i just reduce color a little bit like this maybe increase roughness to that particular thing maybe 0.7 something like that even in reflection or in specular that is roughness is fine over here i am not going to apply any code so definitely there is no nothing worried about that maybe over here four that is also fine so now i have two material now i just need to apply those material over here so to do that i just apply one assign material 
I have two geometries, so I just apply plus plus, apply golf. This is my stand. Now I have this material, so I just apply golf material to golf ball, a golf ball to stand over here. Now to give a proper things, I just create one dome light. Uh, just select this texture. Over here I have this HDRI. Now if I activate this particular stuff like Karma CPU, we will get something like this. So I just change or rotate my light, maybe 180 degree, 90, 200. Okay, so we get something like that. But now what I need over here is that I want to apply that logo of this particular golf ball brand onto this particular thing. Okay, so to do that, what am I going to do? Uh, I just change a little bit my space like over here. I'm going to right click and view composite view. Okay, as well as I just go to stage and over here I'm going to create one COP2 network. I just go inside this particular stuff and now over here I'm going to design that texture. And to do that, I just apply edit composite setting uh, 2048 by 1024. So whenever you want to apply something onto sphere, it is preferable that uh, you mention that two is to one ratio. So it will give you proper pro uh, pro uh, proportion of your logo and everything. So now I just create one base. Okay. Or you can say that background for that particular thing. So now I have this white background. Now I have already one logo. So to call that particular stuff, I just create file, press P and I just click onto this and I have this uh, logo SS. So I have this logo. Now what I need to do is that over here, I just need to apply one composite operator. This is my foreground. This is my background. So right now I get something like this over here. So to set this particular stuff in a proper manner, I just apply one transform, go to its parameter uh, in Y. I just apply minus 0.25 as well as I just copy this parameter, paste the relative reference over here and maybe over here I just reduce it by maybe 0.22. So now I get my logo over here. Now what I need to do is that over here I just need to apply one crop and create one null operator. Name it as out logo. And I just copy this particular stuff. Now again set it like here only. Go to my material library. golf ball over here in principal shader what you need to do is that you just need to go to texture use texture write down op colon and just paste that uh, null path so that is stage cop to net one and out logo now what you need to do over here is that you need to create one uv coordinate and you just need to apply that uv over here and now see you will get that particular logo onto your ball. So I just come over here. Maybe I just change my camera angle a little bit, maybe like this. So you want to change anything like logo size or whatever. So you just come over here and might possible that you feel that I want to reduce my logo a little bit more. So you just change it to this particular thing just restart your render and now see you will get smaller logo over here but right now i prefer 0.20 restart is preferable and you will get 
a simple golf ball so hope you like this tutorial see you soon with another tutorial thank you